Welcome to the Joseph Smith's Imaginative Lexicon video. Okay, here we have Master Mahon, who is Cain. You can look in the Book of Moses, Chapter 5, for that. And if you read the book Miracle of Forgiveness by Spencer W. Kimball, there's a passage in there that said Cain turned into Bigfoot. Okay, the next strange words from Joseph Smith's Lexicon are curlums and cumums. Now these might have been domesticated elephants or they might have been mastodons, but you can read about them in Ether chapter 9. Okay, next word is Cephas, which means a seer or a stone. This is in the Joseph Smith translation or the inspired version of the Bible, which Joseph Smith translated. Uh, John 1.42, that Bible is used by the community of Christ Church now. Okay, Eriantum, which means sea in 1 Nephi 17.5. Okay, next one is Deseret, which means honeybee, which is in Ether 2, verse 3. And there's actually a beehive house, which uh, Brigham Young lived in at one time in Salt Lake City, Utah. And on the banister, they had a honeybee beehive. Okay, next one is a well-known one. It is Kolob. The star nearest to the throne of God or the residence of God, facsimile 2, figure 1. And in 1977, Donny Osmond had a song called You've Got Me Dangling on a String. And guess what record company it was? Kolob Records. Okay, next one is Rao Ki Yang, an expansive firmament over the head, facsimile 1, figure 12. Now, in this picture, you see the firmament. That is a dome covering the earth because in Bible times, and this would also be in, you know, Book of Abraham or Book of Mormon times, they believed the earth was flat but had a dome of firmament overhead. Okay, next one is Pele Ale. O oh God, hear the words of my mouth. O oh God, hear the words of my mouth. O oh God, hear the words of my mouth. Temple Endowment. But before 1990, pre-1990. And we have Old Joe Smith's Pele Ale beer made by the Masonic Breweries in Nauvoo, Illinois. The brew that Adam asked for by name because Pele Ale was actually in the original Adamic language. And in D&C 89, it says all grain is ordained for the use of man. The price was one gold C9. And the ingredients are faith, obedience, and barley. And the brewmasters like to say, oh God, beer is good for my mouth. Joseph Smith came up with some creative words to describe amounts of gold in the Book of Mormon. One was a C9, which was amount of gold that can buy a measure of barley with it. Then we had a Sion, a Shum, a Limna, and a Senum, which were other varying amounts of gold. Okay, then he came up with names for silver amounts, which was Amnor, which is a silver equal to two senums, Ezram, Antai, Shiblon, Shiblum, Leah, and Antion. Okay, then we have Adam on Diamon, which is also in the pure Adamic language, the language they spoke in the Garden of Eden. And Adam on Diamon is a place in Missouri where Adam and Eve lived, aka the Garden of Eden. Okay, next one is Adu. I think that's how you say it. Adieu. I bid you adieu, which is French and means goodbye. So it's interesting that the people in the Book of Mormon were using French, but it's the only French word in the Book of Mormon. It's the only one they knew. Jacob 7, 27. Okay, here's a strange one. Joseph Smith came up with the name Anti-Nephi-Lehi's, which was a group of people in the Book of Mormon. Alma chapter 23. And here is a picture of them burying their steel swords. However, there was no steel during Book of Mormon times. Here is something interesting that I didn't know before I made this video. And that is they use code names for people and places and things in the first edition of the DNC, I believe, which came out in 1835. And Joseph Smith's code name was Gazilam. All right, the next one is Land of Moron. That's a weird one that Joseph came up with. Land of Moron, a place in the Book of Mormon, Ether chapter 7 and chapter 14. And here is one person's idea of where the Land of Moron is. 
Okay, here's a weird one in Abraham 3.18. It is nolam, which means eternal or hell or maybe eternal hell. Okay, su e n i. What other persons are those? This by Joseph Smith in the Voice of Truth book, which came out in 1844 when Joseph was trying to speak in Egyptian. Okay, iota tuaz zipsis, which means Egypt, according to Joseph Smith. And this, according to the Kirtland Egyptian papers, which will, will be referred to as KEP from here on out. Okay, rabcha, which means name calling or curse. You can find it in Joseph Smith translation, Matthew 524, or in the inspired version of the Bible. Okay, this one is a pretty cool name. Korahor, an atheist in the Book of Mormon. Alma chapter 30, Korahor. And now we have Liahona, which means compass. Alma 37, 38. And here is a picture, it looks like of a wooden Liahona. Okay, Ramiumptum, which means high tower. So there's a guy in Alma 31 who's standing up on a high tower, looks like giving a sermon. All right, we now have Ziff, Ziff, which is a type of metal, Mosiah 11.3. There's a book actually called Ziff, Magic Goggles and Golden Plates. Okay, Coca Beam, which means stars, Abraham 3, 13 and 16. And it's interesting that they put stars on the Nauvoo Temple, as in this picture, but they were actually pentagrams. So that's why some people say, oh, the Mormon church is a cult. Okay, in the beginning, God gave Adam a language that was pure, perfect, and undefiled. This Adamic language, now unknown, was far superior to any tongue which is presently extant. Bruce R. McConkie, Mormon Doctrine. And here is about six cases where Joseph Smith was supposed to have been using the Adamic language. Albeth, which means angels or disembodied spirits. Alkabeth, which means angels in an immortal state. Akabeth, which means ministers of God, high priests or kings. Alchabeth, ministers of God. Alcobeth, sinful ministers, not ordained of God. Alcubeth, ministers who are less sinful for want of power. And you can find these references in the Kirtland Egyptian papers. Okay, Anish Goandash, which means one of the governing planets is said by the Egyptians to be the sun. So that's supposedly uh, an Egyptian word. Facsimile to figure five. And here we have some Egyptian hieroglyphics with the sun shining down on them. Okay, here's a good one. Mahan Rai Moriankamer, which is actually the brother of Jared. This, according to George Reynolds and the Jaredites Juvenile Instructor, May 1st, 1892, when Joseph Smith used the name for the brother of Jared of Mahanrai Moriankamer. Okay, when Joseph Smith was walking along in Illinois, he found a skeleton named Zelf, and he said that he was a Lamanite chieftain warrior. His name was Zelf. This, according to E.D. Howe, Mormonism Unveiled, 1834. And there's actually the Book of Zelf, another testament of the Book of Mormon. Uh, not really on that one. Okay, Pelagoram, which is a code name for Sidney Rigdon in the first edition of DNC, 1835. Pelagoram. Bet you didn't know that one. Zizram, a lawyer in the Book of Mormon, Alma chapter 11. Zizram. Okay, Joseph Smith doing some more Egyptian. Shagreel. An Egyptian god, a sun god, Abraham 1, 9, Shagreel. And pictured above, we have the sun god Ra in his boat. Okay, Shimoka, Shimoke, Teognega. The white man, oh, the white man, he very uncertain. This is Joseph Smith's translation of Western Indian in the book, The Voice of Truth, 1844. Okay, Faho Faho Faho'i'oop. A king who has universal dominion over all the earth. This is more Egyptian in the Kirtland Egyptian papers. Okay, here's some creative ones. There's eight stars. Again, these are in the Kirtland Egyptian papers. And Joseph Smith named them. Uh, Limdi, Zis, Vurel, Venisti, Wayne, Waga Oxowan, Oansley, Kevel Shinefliss. Okay, more in the Joseph Smith translation, Matthew 27. 
Joseph Smith said Golgotha means burial, Golgotha. Olia, which means the moon, Olia, moon, Abraham 3.13. Okay, the word telestial, which is actually kind of a weird word I hear. Telestial, which means lowest degree or glory of the stars. It's one of the three kingdoms, DNC 88 or DNC 76. And the telestial glory is kind of interesting. They will be heirs of salvation, but their glory is that of the stars when contrasted with the moon or the sun. So lower than the moon and the sun. They will not receive of his fullness in the eternal world. They will have the Holy Spirit manifested only through appointed angels. They shall not be redeemed from the devil until the last resurrection, until the Lord finishes his work. They will be thrust down to hell, and they will receive administering angels that are appointed to them. So a little bit about the telestial kingdom. Some more Adamic language. Amen, which means name of God. Son Amen, son of God. Sons Amen, men. Anglo men, angels. Amen, angels men, angels. Okay, so there's two words for angels, I guess. John Whitmer, Book of Commandments and Revelations, a very early work, I think 1832 or 3. Uh, page 144. Oleblish, next grand governing creation near to the celestial. Facsimile 2, figure 2. Oleblish, and we have a picture here of the celestial. Okay, 15 planets. This according to the Kirtland Egyptian papers. It's uh, more names of planets in Egyptian by Joseph Smith. Owen Isis, Floss Isis, Floes, Abyssal, Elash. Sable, Slundlo, Irum, or Irom, Crash Makra, Obelas Isum, Eisensba, Mizel, Nami, Sal Oe Upza, and Zaul. Shinha, which is the sun, Abraham 313. Shinha, and, and again above we have the Egyptian sun. Kokob, which means star. Kokob, Abraham 313. And here we have the Salt Lake City Assembly Hall. And it's interesting to see that they put in a Jewish star in there. And now we have Coriantumr. Interesting name, Coriantumr, which was three different characters in the Book of Mormon. You can find them in Ether. Shedorlaumach, a code name for Frederick G. Williams in the first edition of DNC. Shedorlaumach. Ralinos, which means hieroglyphics, and more specifically Egyptian hieroglyphics. Abraham 1, 14. Ralinos. Tubalcain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron, Moses 5, 46. This is a name in the Bible, also in masonry. They use the word Tubalcain for an ancient brother. And here they kind of have a funny picture of Cain working in some brass and iron, I guess. Zub Zul Owen, the firstborn. This is from the Kirtland Egyptian papers. Zub Zul Owen. Toan Lo E Tahi Taki Tuas, under sun in heaven, downward coming down in lineage. Kirtland Egyptian papers. Toan Lo E Tahi Taki Tuas. Okay, Joseph Smith actually did numbers in Egyptian too. This can be found in Kirtland Egyptian papers. E, ni, ze, te, ve, psi, psa, a, na, ta. And then 21, 31, 41, and so on. E, ta, ni, e, ta, zi, e, ta, te, e, ta, ve, e, ta, sai, e, ta, sa. So I wonder if he got those Egyptian numbers right. Ja, o, e, which means earth. Ja, o, e. Earth. Facsimile 2, figure 1. Mormon astronomy, and we've already gone over some of these. Olia, moon. Coca, beam, stars. Ja, o, a, earth. Shine, ha, sun. This according to the LDS book of Abraham. The waters of Ripley Ancom, a location in the Book of Mormon, Ether 15, 8. Waters of Ripley Ancom, and here is a map of what one person thought where the waters of Ripley Ancom were. Shale Manasseh, Shale Manasseh, code name for W.W. W. Phelps in the first edition of DNC. Shale Manasseh, other pseudonyms or false names in the first edition of DNC were Ashta, 
Ashda, Nuke Whitney, Mahamson, Martin Harris, Hora, John Whitmer, Mahalalil, Sidney Gilbert, Elam, Edward Partridge, Olaha, Olive, Oliver Cowdery, Hoi Upfa Fahe, Patriarchal Government or Authority, Hoi Upfa Fahe, Kirtland Egyptian Papers, Zipzi, All Women, Kirtland Egyptian Papers, Zipzi, Kai E. Van Rash, Grand Key, in other words, the governing power which governs 15 other fixed planets or stars. Kai E. Van Rash. Kishkuman, a Gadianton robber in the Book of Mormon, Helaman 6, 18 and 24. This was a secret society, the Gadianton robbers. And one of their main men was Kishkuman. Kane Hanak, a code word for New York in the first edition of DNC. Pictured above is the New York Manhattan Temple. Kane Hanak. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. We're doing Chaldean. Kidna, Tamarun, Lahom, Hallelujah, De Shemaya, Ve'arka, La Nalbadu, Yabadu, Ma'arganu, Omin, Tehot, Shemaya, Allah. I probably messed up some of those. It should mean, Thus shall ye say unto them, the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, they shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens, or under these heavens. Joseph Smith, translation of Chaldean in the Voice of Truth book, 1844. Tontani, tak tak ek tones, which means bad adultery in Egyptian, Kirtland Egyptian papers. Tontani, tak e, tak ek tones. Tish zi ho up sater, glory of the celestial kingdom, Kirtland Egyptian papers. And here is the celestial room in the Salt Lake City temple, really gorgeous. Tish zi ho up sater. Shaumayu, high heavens, facsimile 1, figure 12. We have some Egyptian vignettes here showing what heaven is like. It's kind of hard to understand, but this is supposed to represent heaven. Shaumayu. Olaha Shineha, the land where Adam dwelt, probably near the Garden of Eden, D&C 117.8. Olaha Shineha. Chemish, a record keeper in the Book of Mormon who wrote only one verse. That verse was Omni 1.9. Chemish. Another creative one from Joseph Smith, Zombre, code name for John Johnson in the first edition of D&C. Zombre, and here is the title page, I think, from the first edition DNC. Ziupa, young virgin unmarried, Kirtland Egyptian papers. Ziupa. These are all from facsimile 2, figure 5. Flowey's Moon, Earth, and the Sun in their annual revolutions. Kleiflas Isis, which means stars, and Ha Koka Beam, stars. Okay, we have three more from the Book of Mormon. The Valley of Nimrod. Now, I could have made a slide for that one in a picture, but I resisted. Valley of Nimrod, location in the Book of Mormon in Ether 2. Kuman Onhai. Kuman Onhai, an apostle in the Book of Mormon, 3 Nephi 19. Tiankum, military leader in the Book of Mormon, Alma 52. So, Valley of Nimrod, Kuman, Kuman Onhai, and Tiankum. All of the above are code words in the first edition of the DNC. Banimai, code name for Lyman White. Ozanda, code word for mercantile store. Shine Law, code word for print. Shine Lane, code word for printing. Tahanes, code word for tannery. So Joseph Smith, very creative. Banimai, Ozanda, Shine La, Shine Lane, Tahanes. All right, all of the above are from the Kirtland Egyptian papers. This is more Egyptian. Kaya Bra Om, father of many nations, a prince of peace, one who keeps the commandments of God, a patriarch, rightful heir, or high priest. Fa A, the first man or Adam. Ho Up Ha, queen. Ka Ton Num, a lineage with whom a record of the fathers was entrusted. Ho E Up, prince, descendant of Ham. All right, all of the above are from the Kirtland Egyptian papers, more Egyptian. 
Zabzola, in the days of the first patriarchs. Abram, a follower of righteousness, possessor of greater knowledge. Baathka, Adam or the first man or first king. Bathku, residence for man, appointed of God, made to be more fruitful. Ka to aim, kingdom governed by different laws, subjects who receive the place or receive their place at a future period. All right, the last ones from the Kirtland Egyptian papers. Jahoi Up, ambassador, one delegated with kingly power. Jani Ha, one delegated from the highest sons, one sent from the celestial kingdom. Ve Klai Flas Isis, less power than the fourth fixed governing star, but greater power than the sixth fixed governing star. Ebeth Ki Aim Treath, place beyond this earth, future place of existence, celestial world. Bathku Ain Trieth, the whole earth or the largest place, the garden of the earth. Da Tu Hadiz, another kingdom, the least kingdom, domain of darkness. Za Kayo on high ash, land of the Chaldeans. So we can see just how creative Joseph Smith was. What a creative genius. And I thank you for watching the Joseph Smith's imaginative lexicon video.